Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, another quick hitter edition. Some pretty uh, shocking news uh, out of a Sicilian media outlet in the aftermath of the Gambino bus last week and then all this uh, hubbaloo about digging for bodies up in the Hudson Valley related to the Gambinos and uh, the Sicilian wing. That uh, according to a Sicilian newspaper, a name from the past is, is now apparently an, a name in the present. Uh, Jackie the Nose D'Amico, a, a longtime fixture in the Gambino crime family, first as a soldier, then as a capo, then as a boss, uh, ran the family, was a very a, a close confidant to, to John Gotti. Um, and the Gotti wing of the family has been a uh, liaison for years to the uh, Sicilian wing of the family uh, from the Gotti, uh, Gotti camp. Was a guy that originally Frankie Boy Cali was put into um, was put into Jackie Nose's crew. Uh, Jackie Nose, like I said, ran the family in the 2000s. It seemed like he'd been uh, he ran into a little bit of legal problems in in the late uh, 2000s. Came out of prison, I think, in 2012. You haven't really heard much of him. He's 86 years old. But according to this new media report out of Sicily, he traveled to Palermo back in the summer, in August of 2023, and was seen meeting with a Sicilian don by the name of Giovanni Battista Battlementi. Um, he's not from the, the, the Chinese Battlementis. He's from a, another group, uh, the Toretta um, clan. He's alleged to be the boss. He's on the run right now from Italian authorities. But uh, there's reports that that uh, Battlementi was meeting with Jackie D'Amico uh, in Palermo in August. Uh, they were seen on a patio of a uh, restaurant having a meal and a meeting. I'm still trying to figure out what this means. Uh, I had assumed Jackie, like I said, he's 86. I'd assume that uh, he, had, he had long retired, um, is a guy that is clearly in some type of emeritus status. Uh, I knew that he was you know, close to these Sicilian guys, even though he's, uh, he was born in Italy, uh, but you know, wouldn't, wasn't considered a part of the Sicilian faction of, of the Gambinos, was, was very closely, closely aligned with John Gotti. And um, it, it's not shocking. In one sense, it's shocking. In another sense, it's not. I mean, it's shocking in the sense that we haven't heard this guy's name in a while. So uh, when you get when you get away from the initial kind of double take factor, uh, w- when you actually go granular on this thing and and die, you know, go from the the macro to the micro, it would make sense if if this is more than just. Jackie was traveling on a summer vacation with his family and wanted to meet up with some people that he knew from the past. They happened to be mob guys and it wasn't really official business. Or the other side of this is that he was sent there by Menino and Shifalu to to discuss criminal affairs on their behalf with um, the mafia out there. Another thing interesting to point out is Batista Battlementi, uh, has been spending most of his years over, let's say, over the last decade or so in the United States. Um, he's ruling the Toretta clan, but spending most of his time in New York, which also might explain um, the connection to D'Amico. Uh, but they were seen meeting, um, and it looks like Jackie the Nose, uh, Jackie Knows D'Amico is... He might have exited stage left. Well, now he's entering stage left again in the current soap opera that is the Gambino Sicilian faction. And uh, what's going on with this bus from last week with with, uh, the 18th Avenue crew, uh, Joe Lani, Joe Brooklyn, the capo uh, of that Sicilian faction and a a guy that was mentored by Lorenzo Menino and Frankie Boy Cali. and now is facing both uh, assault charges in in state court in New Jersey for a, a vicious assault on some restaurant owners in Tom's River, and now is the headline defendant in this big Gambino um, racketeering case targeting the trash uh, hauling industry, the gar um, the demolition industry, and in the construction industry, and, and labor racketeering related to that. Um, Jackie D'Amico was not indicted in that case last week. Either was Lorenzo Menino or or uh, Italian Dom. This right now is solely a Joe Brooklyn issue, but 
Uh, I got the feeling that this, the last, the last chapters of this have not been written and who knows where, where Jackie the nose fits in, but he is a guy that, um, you know, everybody likes, uh, he's somebody that gets, uh, you know, is a politician, a guy that has been able to kind of seamlessly maneuver his way through, through multiple, uh, mafia groups, both here and overseas is a guy that uh, has a lot of connections and, and other families besides the Gambinos, um, a guy that uh, ha has a lot of goodwill capital um, in, in the underworld, both here and, and overseas. So we'll see. Uh, I, will, I will keep you updated on what's going on with Jackie Knows, but he's back in the media right now, at least on the other side in Sicily, was seen meeting with Don uh, Battlementi in Palermo in August of 2023. Jackie the Nose, welcome back. <laughs> For uh, OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out. Mm -hmm.